brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Book Review. In the past, the Muslim Ummah regained and gained leadership over the world. Muslim Ummah and Islam covered parts of Asia, Africa, and Europe. And Islam went into all these continents. Unfortunately, the Muslim couldn't keep their leadership over these countries, over these nations, for a long time. And that's because a lot of the Muslims went away from Islam themselves. And that's the reason. Today, we have a very interesting book to talk about this issue. And it discusses the question, is it possible for Muslims to regain their leadership? Is it possible for, for the rise of Islam to happen? Today's book is The Rise of Islam, Islam in the Third Millennium for Hoffman Murad. With us today is a very special person, a friend of the author, and he accompanied him on his Umrah trip. With us today is Professor Muhammad Abdullah Isharqawi, the head and the lecturer in the Department of Islamic Philosophy and Comparative Religion, Dar al Uloom, Cairo University. Professor, we're proud to have you with us. Thank you, it's our pleasure. Thank you so much for being with you today. And uh, I'm very glad yani, to talk about uh, uh, Dr. Murad Hoffman, because as you mentioned, I know him very well. Uh, I accompanied him to uh, uh, performance the Umrah in Mecca al mukarramah Then we left to al Medina al munawwara This is before 15 years ago. Yeah, 15, 15 years. years ago. Uh, But you still contact him. <laughs> I uh, 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 met him in uh, uh, Riyadh, the capital of the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Uh, both of us were a uh, member of you know, committee, and also uh, both of us were uh, participants uh, in an international uh, conference about the uh, uh, information uh, about the Muslim world. Uh, I exchanged many ideas with him. I discussed a lot of points with him. I listened to him carefully. Uh, I appreciate uh, the late Uh, Dr. Murad Hoffman. So today I feel I'm very glad to talk about uh, uh, about him. We're glad uh, to uh, let that me uh, say, you know, I uh, uh, deduce that he's uh, German, not only German citizen, but also he is uh, a German uh, intellectual. He's an intellectual. Yeah. And he's also an ambassador, or was he working in the embassy? Uh, 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 let me tell you, yani, first he uh, left to the United States of America. I heard he was working in the embassy, German yeah, embassy yeah, in yeah. Morocco and Algeria. Yeah, yeah. studied the law and philosophy, mm. yani, see, law and philosophy in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. Then he joined the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, German mm -hmm. uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Uh, became an ambassador of the uh, of Germany uh, to Morocco to and Algeria. Algeria first, then to Morocco, mm. then to Morocco. He so the date he wrote this book, several several mm. years he stayed yeah, uh, 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 stayed among Muslims. Yeah. Mm. So uh, he had a lot of uh, uh, very uh, very high level personalities mm. in Algeria He's and He's an Morocco. intellectual and that was a chance for him to know more about Muslims. But did he go into Islam actually during this period? Do I, uh, uh, no. Uh, uh, yani he uh, attracted to Islam, mm. to Islam teaching and to Islamic uh, values mm. before this period. Before, before, before being an ambassador? He, yes, yes. Mm. He studied a lot read many books about Islam, mm. met many uh, But I personalities. Mean, like the German uh, government made him an ambassador while he's a Muslim? Yeah, yeah. That's my question. Oh, so well, this is... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, when he went to Algeria and uh, Morocco, mm. 
uh, there uh, he catched the, uh, the chance, the opportunity, and yani to read about Islam, mm. uh, to discuss many uh, points uh, with uh, uh, Muslim scholars mm. in, Algeria in Algeria and Morocco. Mm. So he became closer to uh, Islam. Mm. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided, uh, yeah, guided him to uh, embrace, Islam. embrace Islam. Then he uh, converted to Islam, became a Muslim scholar, Mm. Uh, and uh, changed his name into Murad. Murad. Yeah, Murad mm. Wilfred Hoffman. Mm. Yani he kept the uh, family uh, name. Yeah, family name. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. talk about uh, the, the date he wrote this book. Was it in Algeria? Was it afterwards? Um, or was it in Morocco? Uh, about, this, about this book, Mm. Yeah, and he uh, wrote this book, uh, 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 I think, since 10 years before. Mm. Yeah, and, uh, uh, when we were about to move to the third millennium, mm. yeah, and he, he tried to, uh, uh, yeah, and to celebrate mm. yeah, and this new millennium. Mm. Uh, uh, so he wrote and published this, uh, this book, book. This book. Very interesting. Uh, let's talk about um, the chapters of this book in brief. Like, just we will move into one chapter through the other and just give a brief about each to give the viewers um, the feeling of uh, the book. Yes. Uh, as you uh, mentioned you, before. You can go through them. Yeah, yeah. So that we want to give the viewer, like, uh, his point of view through the titles of the chapters. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, the, this, uh, the title of this book, as you said, Religion No, I mean the, the title rise. of the chapters. Yeah, yeah, okay. yes. I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, but first, yani, I, I'd like to uh, uh, say a uh, few sentences about the title, the title. Okay, the title of this book. This is very important, Yanni, to... Okay. Uh, uh, religion on the rise, mm. uh, I think that uh, Hoffman was very, very optimistic when he uh, wrote this title mm. uh, because he saw the uh, religion of Islam uh, will uh, be the, uh, within this uh, mm. millennium, will be the first religion in the world. In mm. the world, mm. and it is so. Uh, uh, he was very hopeful and very optimistic, mm. but uh, uh, he tried to talk about the uh, millennium. Mm. Yeah, as you know, millennium means one thousand years. Uh, who can write about the uh, one thousand year? One thousand mm. year. This is very long time. But very does, long he, time. does he yeah. here talk about? the rise of Islam, as in the content of Islam, that he predicts that the content of Islam will lead Islam yeah. to, be, to conquer all the world and to be uh, in rise? La, la, to yani, preach the peace among the humanities in the world uh, uh, within this millennium. Mm. Yani, yani, uh, uh, Muslims will be, I mean, will I mean, be, will be. Does, he, does he look at that, like he, he looks when writing that, do you think, in your opinion, at the Muslim converts, like Islam is, is now um, a lot of the Muslims and in, in a lot of the people in Europe or Germany in, in particular are converting to Islam, so that's what he means? Or does he mean that Islam has um, the content, the content of Islam will conquer the world? The uh, values and teachings concepts of Islam mm -hmm. will lead the... That's what he means. That's, yes, that's that, what he yes, means. Okay. It means uh, Let's uh, go through the, the chapters. Um, the, uh, this book consists of 15 chapters. 15, 15, chapters. 15 very short, very brief chapters. Mm -hmm. The uh, title of first one, Destination West. Destination, Destination West. West. Okay. West. And Destination East, 
the mm. second chapter, mm. yani the point of view of Westerns. What does he want to say? Uh, destination uh, uh, West uh, and uh, destination uh, East. Uh, uh, how the uh, uh, Westerns yani, uh, 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 see the uh, third millenniums mm. and also what is the others uh, uh, see to the humanities mm. uh, within the third millenniums. Mm. What do the Westerners mm. see and what the, the yeah, people in the, the, the East see? Uh, uh, yes. And then yes. he moves to what? The third chapter, many long and uh, rich years, he talked about the past mm. uh, and the interaction between uh, uh, Muslims and Christians, mm. uh, North and South. Mm. No. Uh, this he, Yani, uh, 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 wrote the, uh, these chapters, yani from the first to 15 chapters. All these chapters enriched and uh, clarified. After and he talked about the, the East and the West, West, he talked about what? Yeah. He talked about what he in the next chapter? In uh, chapter four, mm. uh, Hoffman uh, discussed the role of the media yani, to make the Muslims and the Christians mm. uh, uh, closer in the, uh, uh, in the future. Mm. Uh, the role of the media? Uh, uh, to make media uh, in the West mm. and the East. So he discusses uh, the role of the media? Yes. Yeah, and its effect the on the rise of Islam? Yeah, and, and uh, uh, gave many advices yani, to uh, media uh, uh, institutes. Uh, yeah, institute. Then he uh, uh, discussed in chapter 6 uh, very interesting idea, democracy and shura democracy. Demo de democracy and shura, and sh shura, and shura. shura in Arabic, mm. in Arabic is... So he's uh, talking about both <laughs> concepts. Yeah, yeah, okay. uh, uh, shura, krasi. Mm. What's the difference between uh, these two uh, concepts? Mm. Uh, in his opinion, uh, Democracy is uh, something of political philosophy, political mm. philosophy. Mm. But shurakrasi uh, is a something of uh, he calls it shurakrasi. Of, of, yeah, yeah, mm. of uh, religious philosophy, mm. religious philosophy. Now, nah. but so, does he say that both concepts uh, interlink? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Inter yes, yes, mm. uh, because as you know. Uh, in Islam, shurakrasi means uh, the main and main uh, the main political values. Mm. Uh, I mean, the equality mm. between uh, all citizens, mm. mean uh, uh, political freedom, mm. uh, mean the the dignity of human beings, mm. uh, mean. Uh, uh, human rights, mm. uh, religious freedom, all these values uh, contain the concept of shura or mm. shura krasi, mm. as he uh, uh, said. Then chapter seven. Uh, similar or identical. This is very interesting mm. point because, because are the Muslims, uh, are we looking forward to make Muslims and uh, Christians mm. uh, I, uh, similar or identical. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is why Muhammad, peace be upon him, this is the uh, seventh one, uh, eighth one. The eighth wa chapter. Yeah, eighth chapter. Why Muhammad, peace mm. be upon him, uh, in this chapter talked about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the, 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 uh, uh, his prophethood, mm. uh, his teaching, mm. uh, how he, sallallahu uh, be upon him, uh, preached and called people to uh, believe in Allah mm. subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's chapter uh, eight. Eight. Okay. Nine, Jesus uh, dividing, Jesus uniting. Mm. This is also Jesus. very important. Jesus, mm. alayhi salam, peace be upon him, mm. alayhi salam, uh, he tried to explain the 
uh, understand the Muslim understanding about Jesus uh, in, this, in this chapter. Alayhis, in this chapter. Okay. As uh, you know, uh, uh, the uh, mother of Jesus, Maryam, alayhi salam, and there is surah in the glorious Quran named Surat Maryam. Mm. Surat Maryam. Mm. Mm. Uh, and then he moves on chapter 10, talks about what? Uh, 10, uh, color blind. In this chapter, color uh, blind. Mm. blind. Color blind. It, yeah, yeah, color yeah. blind, yes. He, I think he's, in these chapters, he's talking about Muslims copying the West, right? Uh, uh, he discusses the equality between human beings, mm. human beings. Mm. But he bought a very strange, very strange title for this uh, uh, chapter. Mm. Uh, then, uh, what are they here for? Yani, the Muslims in Europe. <laughs> mm. He talked about Muslims, Muslims in Europe. In Europe. In Europe. Yeah. Uh, see, see, see the, the, the title of this chapter. Professor, yeah. uh, can we uh, take a short break and continue the rest of the chapters? Yeah, yeah, of uh, dear brothers and sisters, we will take a short break, so stay tuned. We will be right back. Brothers and sisters in Islam, welcome back. Our book for today is Religion on the Rise, Islam in the Third Millennium. We stopped before the break and covered a brief about each chapter. Now we want to go into depth and take a brief about the whole book and talk about the theory of Hoffman. We want to talk about the theory. What does Hoffman want to reach? By all these different chapters that you told me in the break that he, is, he gathered lectures mm -hmm and articles that he wrote in, uh, in, in, in magazines or newspapers, and he gathered them in this book. But he wants to say something at the end. What is that? Yes. I think the uh, theory of uh, Murat Hoffman uh, is very important for us as a Muslim ummah. Uh, keep in mind, he's, uh, an, he's a Western uh, scholar, Western Muslim scholar. Mm. Uh, he noticed that the humanity uh, are facing a lot of very bad challenges mm -hmm. and very bad difficulties and problems. Uh, the humanity also, mankind, tested many philosophy, mm -hmm. many uh, political uh, uh, philosophies. Mm -hmm. Uh, communism and uh, liberalism and, uh, uh, and all these all these philosophies mm. failed to respond to these challenges. Mm. Murat Hoffman believes that Islam uh, has uh, very very important, very great teachings and values. Mm. These teachings and values could respond to these challenges. Mm. These challenges. Mm. Uh, he uh, uh, looking for looked forward uh, yani to test these these teachings and values. Mm. When the humanity uh, tested this, they will be. Strongly, Same. strongly convinced, strongly mm. convinced. And these teaching and values could successfully respond to these problems and challenges and... That the West is yeah, suffering from. Yes, this is the theory. Of, so, as I said So he's trying before, through the book to prove that to um, the reader, that Islam will rescue uh, the West from all the deficiencies in values, morality, and other deficiencies that the West is suffering from, despite the civilization and the technology they reached. Uh, let me uh, uh, tell you, not only this book, uh, 
mm. but uh, uh, all his articles and books, as you know, he published many books and uh, published many, uh, many, many articles. Mm. Uh, all of his uh, uh, thoughts uh, focus, I'm trying to focus, emphasize and focus yes, on yeah, this. Yes, yes, focus okay. on this, yani to prove this theory. Mm. Uh, and I agree with him. Mm. I agree with him. I uh, uh, expect yani, the humanity, the mankind uh, will be convinced, will be close to the uh, uh, teachings and values of Islam in future. Mm. In the first segment, uh, we mentioned uh, one chapter about the media and the effects of the media. Yeah. Uh, we want to talk a little bit about the media and how this affects the rise of Islam and how does Hoffman see um, the effect of the media on delaying the rise of Islam? As you know, the Western media inherited the uh, legacy of Orientalists, as you know, Orientalists. Uh, published and wrote down many, many books and uh, uh, studies and articles mm. uh, about Islam. Mm. They uh, tried their best to uh, give a false and distorted misguide. image, okay. image and disguise, uh, disguise uh, uh, them to Islam. Mm. To Islam, the uh, modern media inherited all these thoughts mm. and uh, 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 reproduced mm. them uh, uh, so the western citizen when he is totally yeah, yeah. misguided yeah. and invaded Misgu by misguided, these thoughts misguided them yeah mm. uh, uh, so he advised the uh, uh, media yani, uh, uh, to be rightful uh, in future yeah. okay uh, I wanted also to uh, ask you, uh, what's your impression about uh, the book as a whole? Do you think this book suits the normal reader, or is it for only Westerners? No, this yeah, no, I uh, uh, much appreciate this book, the spoken informative book, informative and innovative book also mm. at the same time. Uh, because uh, Murat Hoffman uh, discussed many, many uh, uh, points and uh, ideas and uh, gave very, very uh, new and important opinions mm -hmm. and views uh, to guide the both sides, Muslims mm -hmm. and Christians, to the third millennium. Mm -hmm. So is the book... Um uh, translated to Arabic, or is it only yes, English? Yes, yes. I, 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 uh, 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 I know it translated into Arabic and published maybe in uh, in Cairo, mm -hmm. in Cairo, maybe seven years back. Okay. Seven years back. Uh, the origin of this book was in German or in English? In German and uh, uh, translated into English. So this is the a translated, translated copy. The, let me tell you the uh, translator, translated from German by Andreas uh, uh, Rischka. Mm. I think it from Balkan, uh, uh, you know, this name, yeah, from, maybe from Balkan or from Cyprus. Nah. Yes. Uh, the book is small in its size, but is very specific in the information it gives. Yeah. Uh, do you agree with this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah. Mm. Very, very uh, great book, useful book, and uh, uh, informative book. I advise everyone, the East and West, to read this book. So uh, I'd uh, like to thank you for yeah, selecting this book and also for inviting me to talk about we really this book it. it's our and pleasure. The, the author of this book, it's our uh, pleasure. Dr. We really appreciate uh, Murad it. Hoffman. Uh, as the head of uh, the faculty of, uh, or the department of Islamic philosophy and comparative religion, uh, are you uh, going to get the translated copy and uh, put it uh, for your students? <laughs> or teach it to your students? Or, uh, uh, or do you uh, think we, this is we, not a good source? Yeah, uh, uh, 
uh, we as teach academically. Our I mean, like it, it's not, it's not, it's a good book, but academically, do you advise or are, are you going to implement that in your um, uh, faculty? We uh, at this faculty and this department of Islamic philosophy and comparative religion, we teach our students the uh, contemporary Muslim uh, thought and Muslim thinkers from East and West, from Egypt and from North of Africa and from subcontinental of India and from uh, uh, Europe and USA. Yani, as you know, there are many, many uh, 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 scholars there. So we advise our students yani, to read the, not this book, uh, uh, just this book, but all books of Murad Hoffman. Uh, because as I said, uh, and I think that you agree with me, uh, 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 the uh, thoughts of uh, Murad Hoffman uh, is very, very important, uh, not only for us, but also for the other side in the West also. And the, uh, the, these thoughts helped them yani, uh, uh, to solve, to settle their problems. They are facing very bad problems. Uh, as we know, there are many, many immigrants from the Muslim world to Europe. To Europe. Uh, they are facing the problem of uh, couldn't be uh, integrated in the Western societies there. Uh, the thoughts of Murad Hoffman helped Western societies to solve their problems relating the immigrants from the Muslim world to Europe. Uh, Professor Mohammed Abdullah Sharqawi, head of the faculty and department of Islamic philosophy and comparative religion, Cairo University. I would like to thank you at the end of this episode. Thank you for giving us your time. Thank you for being with us. We really appreciate it. Um, and we hope you'll be with us in future reviews. Uh, brothers and sisters in Islam, I would like to thank you too for watching this very interesting and amazing episode of Book Review. Until we meet the next time, I leave you in the care of Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh.